Hello, I'm Dr Ange. Welcome to my surgery. Are you well? Yeah! Ah, good. Someone's not feeling well. I wonder who my next patient is. Who's come to visit me? Who will it be? Can you guess which friend it is? Let's see. I recognise him. It's Deep. When I go to the doctor, I tremble and I sigh. I'm a little quiet, I'm a bit shy. But Dr Rand is gentle, he always finds a way to make me feel that everything is going to be OK. So I can climb up to the castle and clumber down again. Or snuggle with a storybook or sit and watch the rain. Cos Dr Rand is gentle, he always finds a way to make me feel that everything is going Hello, Deep. Come and sit down and we'll have a chat. OK. Something bothering you? Mm. Aren't you going to look up? No. Do your knees look funny? No. Mm, I wonder what it is, then. I know what it must be. You don't want to look at this great big Scary crocodile! <laughs> there you go. Thank you. <laughs> Careful, he bites. <laughs> <laughs> That's better. Nice to see your face again, Dee. Oh. oh, don't hide. Tell me what's wrong. I've got something on my lip and I don't like it. Oh, dear. I think I know what that is. Does it hurt? A bit. And in here. Inside your mouth. Mm. I need to take a closer look. Can you hop up onto the couch for me? Huh? I'm only going to take a look so we can make it better. Uh. Okay, up we go. <laughs> right. Mmm, uh -huh. yes, I thought so. Mm. You've got a cold sore, Deep. Uh. A cold sore is like a blister, a small bubble on your skin. A cold sore? Cold sores are caused by a type of germ called a virus. When that virus gets inside your body, it makes that blister on your skin. Virus? That's it. Viruses can be passed between people in loads of different ways. Say, like, sharing drinks or kissing. So, if I kiss my little sister, will she get a cold sore as well? Yes, maybe. So when you've got a cold sore, it's best not to kiss anyone. Oh. But hugs and cuddles are still OK. Ah. I need to look inside your mouth now. Don't worry, it won't hurt. I need to look inside. Open wide. Ah. Oh. Is your throat a bit sore too? It's so sore, I couldn't eat my breakfast and now my tummy's rumbling. Try and drink plenty. Use a straw if that helps. And try to eat something. Soup's really easy to eat. And ice cream. Soup and ice cream? Yeah. No, not together. <laughs> I <laughs> you were joking. Very good. So will my cold sore go away soon? It might take a week or ten days to go completely, but you should start to feel better very soon. It's normal to feel ill the first time you have a cold sore. You mean I might get another one? You might one day. Oh. We can make most germs and viruses go away, but the cold sore virus is different. Why? When your cold sore disappears, the cold sore virus doesn't go away, it just goes to sleep inside your body instead. Huh? It's a bit like when a hedgehog goes to sleep in the winter. <laughs> I like hedgehogs. <laughs> Bats sleep in the winter too, and dormice. My dad told me. That's right. And after their long sleep, they all wake up again in the spring. That sleep's called hibernation. Hmm? Hibernation. Hibernation. <laughs> so. Will I get another cold sore in the spring? We don't know. The virus may wake up again at any time. Oh. But sometimes the virus never wakes up. It stays asleep and you never get a cold sore again. Are you sure? Yes. Do you want to ask Nurse Mora to tell you a bit more about it? Oh, yes, please. <laughs> Hello, Nurse Mora. Hi, Dr Ranj. Who's with you today? Deep, and he wants to know more about cold sores. Mm. Hello, Nurse Morag. 
Um, what happens to my cold sore virus when it goes to sleep? Ah, now that's a good question. But I think I'm going to need my healthy helpers to help me answer that one. Catch that ball, yeah, it's your goal. Give me questions, catching through. Healthy helpers will show and tell how you can keep fit and well. Catch that ball, yeah, it's your goal. Give me questions, catching through. Healthy helpers will show and tell how you can keep fit and well. Today I'm in Stockport and my healthy helpers are... Hello, my name's Fish and I like fire engines. Hello, my name is Jamie and I like making sandcastles when I'm on holiday. Hello, my name's Ashley and I like going on holiday in a big tent with my family. Hello, my name is Ruby and I like playing football. So, healthy helpers, tell me about your pictures. I'm following um, a, ma a mouse sleeping. A mouse sleeping? In, in the snow, because it's winter. Excellent. And what are you drawing, Ashley? A hedgehog. A hedgehog? That is very good. And what about you guys? What are you drawing? I'm drawing a polar bear. A polar bear? Wow. What are you drawing? Um. A turtle. A turtle? And who can tell me what all these animals have in common? They sleep in the winter. It's called hibernating. That's right, it is. And when do they wake up? Spring. spring. That's right. In the springtime, after a long sleep through the winter. Now, did you know that some germs that make us ill, they go to sleep in our bodies? Huh? Yes, like cold sore. That's right. But you don't need to worry because like Deep's cold sore virus, they go to sleep. And when they're asleep, they don't bother you at all. Now, sometimes the cold sore virus wakes up, but luckily, extremely luckily for us, the cold sore virus warns us when it's going to wake up. It makes our lip all tingly and fuzzy. And when that happens, we put special cream on the tingly bit and that makes it go back to sleep. And it doesn't bother us at all. Does it bother us? No! Come on, shall we go and play a game and show everyone what we've been talking about? Yeah! OK, come on then, let's go. OK, Ruby, you are going to be Jamie's cold sore virus and Mason, you're going to be Ashley's cold sore virus. So viruses, get into your bed and get back to sleep. Now, Jamie, your virus is sleeping in the blue bed and actually your virus is sleeping in the red bed. Now, do we know when they're waking up? No. No, that's right, we can't tell, can we? But luckily, when they start to waken up, they're going to ring a bell and let us know that they're awake. Is that the bell? Mm-hmm. Just like when our bodies let us know that the cold sore virus is waking up with tingly lips. And what's the plan when they do waken up? Put the cream on and send them back to sleep. Excellent, we'll put the cream on and send them back to sleep. But till then, we can carry on playing and making things. Oh. Do you want a yellow butterfly? Yeah, because butterflies are so good. Ashley, I think your virus is waking up. What are you going to do? Yeah. <laughs> Put the cream on and send it back to sleep. OK, then, let's do I it. I really didn't know it. I know it. Oh, well done, Ashley. You've sent your virus back to sleep. Yay! And we've not had a peep out of Jamie's virus. And that's because some viruses never waken up. So you see, Deep, your cold sore hurts just now, and I'm sorry about that. But you can see that when your cold sore's asleep, 
you'll feel fine and carry on playing. And hopefully your cold sore virus will stay sleeping like my one here. But if not, if it should wake up and you should feel the tingle in your lip, we can put the special cream on and it'll go straight back to sleep. So you can go and have fun without worrying. And until then... Get well soon!